Okay, so we have this list of ordered pairs, right? This, what, uh, how do we tell something with a function? What do we just say? What? Your x doesn't repeat, right? So your x doesn't repeat, okay? So everyone should, uh, needs to understand that x is always first, right? So it's x and y. So this is x, this is y. This is x, this is y, this is x, this is y, this is x, this is y, okay? So all I'm checking for if my x repeats, if it's the same number, okay? So for my first one, I have 6. For my second one, I have 5. For my third one, I have 3. For my fourth one, I have four, uh, I'm sorry, 1, okay? Does it repeat? No, right? So it doesn't repeat, so it is a function. Okay. All right, next example. Example B. Okay, let's say I have negative 2, 4. Negative 2, negative 2, 0, negative 2, 5. Okay. This also would, this would be a function or not a function? No. Not a function, right? Because negative 2, right, I'm going to go on my x's. There's negative 2, 8, negative 2, negative 2. It repeats. Negative 2 repeats more than once. Okay, so you're going to put, not in capital letters, a function. Okay, we need to add two more. Okay, so example C. Negative one half, uh, nine, negative one fourth, seven, Is example C a function or not? Well, it's, it's a function. Yes, it is. Okay. So, yes, it is a function. Okay. Uh, real quick. So, in example A, right? What, if I asked you what my domain was, okay, somebody just look, say the domain out loud. What would be my domain for this? For example A here. What would be my domain uh, from the ordered pairs? Okay, so when we say when we say the list, all you gotta do is list your X's, right? So I would say my domain is six. 5, 3, and 2, right? And then if I said, what's the range? I would say it is 7, 4, 2, and 2, okay? Your Y's can repeat, your X's can, okay? Make sense? All right, so that's one type of way to uh, look at func uh, uh, functions that are represented, okay? Now, example, uh, next way. The next way is by tables. by tables. Okay, so examples, we'll start with example A. Alright, so I'm going to have my table here.
right? And in my table, I'm going to put input, I'm going to put output, Put input, I'm going to put output. Okay, and then my, for my input, the left side, I'm going to have 10, 20, 30, 40. And my output, I'm going to have 15, Let's just do this. Let's just copy out. Let's just make all the tables real quick, and then we'll go over each one. Okay. So uh, table B. Once you made those three, put your pins down so I can see as you're done. So, in example A, okay, do we think it's a function or not a function? Okay, first of all, which one is my x values or my domain? Which side, the left or the right? The left, right? Everyone, everyone understand that? The left side is my x or my domain, okay? So, I got to check on the left, right? The rule is my x's cannot repeat, okay, so I'm checking. 10, 20, 30, 40, they don't repeat, so it is a function. Okay, example B, same thing, I got to check my axis or my domain, okay, I check them again. 0, 2, 4, 6, none of them repeat, so it is a function. Okay, example C, 
same thing. Domain range, okay? Domain two, negative five, two. The twos do repeat. What does that mean? It is not a function. So again, capital letters, not a function. Simple enough, okay? Tell you today will be easy. about the tables. No? We're good? Okay. The third type of way. Okay, so the third type of way you could uh, represent a function is by graphs. Okay, so it's by graph, and I'm going to put right here, in parentheses, use the vertical line test. Okay, use the vertical line test. All right, and I, if you don't know what that means, I, I'm going to explain right now. Okay, so for examples, okay, example A, I'm just going to draw a simple graph, okay, on my graph, I'm always going to mark with X and Y, so remember, X goes from left to right, Y goes from bottom to top, it's the vertical one, okay, so my graph is going to look just like this. Obviously, right here, there's different ways you can figure out if it's a function or not for a graph, okay? For a graph, you can, if you wanted to, you can literally figure out each point, right? And then you can see, okay, do my actions repeat or do they not repeat, right? But there's an easier way, okay? So there's an easier way, and we call it the vertical line test. So I'm going to just make a line right here, just like this. Start up and down. Have anyone heard about the vertical line test? Oh, you already know about that? Oh, okay. What's in general? Okay, so all you're gonna do is check. You you would imagine this vertical line through your graph, right? If it crosses, if it touches the graph more than once, okay, then it's not a function. Okay, I'm not gonna draw the line on the graph. You gotta kind of visualize it, right? So I'm gonna imagine this line going anywhere through my graph, and if it touches more than once, right, then it is uh, not a function. Okay, this one looks pretty uh, pretty easy, right? If I imagine that line anywhere through here. It wouldn't, it only touch once, okay? So this is a function. Okay, example B. And Y and X. Okay, I'm gonna make a parabola, so it's just gonna look like this. Okay, and again, you have your line, you imagine it going through your graph, would this one be a function or not? No. Yes. Some people say no, some people say yes. It's not? Or it is? No. Why? Huh? So if I drew this vertical line here, where would you go? So if I drew a vertical line here, that's only once, right? Okay, where else did I, where do you think it's going to touch twice? Okay, well we're not drawing horizontal. 
It only has to be vertical. So I can't draw a line like this and say, oh, that's that's not a function. All right? It has to be straight up and down. Okay, so I mean anywhere on the graph where, where I draw the line through, right, it only touches the graph once. If I draw it here, it only touches the graph once. If I draw it here, it only touches the graph once. Right? You guys talking about around, like around this area? Yeah. This would be a function. Okay. If y'all are confused with the horizontal line, right? So remember, you cannot just draw it like this, okay? And that would be your Y repeat, your Y should repeat, so it's okay. All right, but you cannot draw it sideways, right? You have to be straight up and down. Okay, so this one is actually a function. Okay, so it is a function. Okay, uh, example C. This is Y, this is X. this be a function or no? No. Perfect. Okay. So I draw this line here. Sorry, it's all crooked. Okay, I draw this line here. Right? You draw it straight through, this, through the circle. It would touch the circle twice. Okay? So that means this is not a function. Okay, example D. Let's say we had like random points everywhere. Okay. So using the vertical line test, this one is a little harder because it's the Points are scattered, right? But would this be a uh, function or no? No, why? Because some of them would be going through, right? Like these two are on top of each other. So if you do that line, it would go, it would go through both. Same thing, it would go through both on this one. Okay. So good. So it's not a function. Alright, so the last way, okay, the last way that we can represent a function, right, or one of the last ways, okay, is by it's called mapping. It's by mapping. First example we have, example A, okay, it's going to look like this, so you're going to list the, so we're going to put uh, X, right, 10, 20, 30, 40, okay, and you're going to have Y, 15, 25, 35, 45, okay, now we're going to circle the number, so it looks something like this. On this example, 10 goes to 15, 20 goes to 45, 30 goes to 25, 40 goes to 35. Okay, so draw your arrows like that. So 10 goes to 15, 20 goes to 45, 30 goes to 25, 40 goes to 35. I think y'all are really good at um, 
understanding that X is can repeat, okay? Does this look confusing to anybody? Nobody at all? Everyone understands that a little bit, okay? So, pretty much, if this is confusing, right? So when you get a question like this, or you have an example like this, the way we, we, we can just write in ordered prayers, right? And I'll show you for this one, and then you'll be able to do it the rest of them, okay? So for this one, right, I'm looking at my X's, okay? For ordered prayer, I would have, no, it's right, right here. Right, so my X is 10, my Y is 15. Okay? My X is 20, well, it's pointing at 45, so my X is 20, Y is 45. Right, my X is 30, my Y is 25. Okay, I ran out of room right over here. My X is 40, my Y is 35. Right? So now it looks like ordered pairs. Okay, so now uh, it's a lot easier if you're having trouble reading the mapping. It's a lot easier for you to see. It's a lot easier to see. Okay, do my X's repeat? Right? Did that make sense now? Kind of? Yeah? Okay? This one on the far left thing. Where? This one? Uh, 40 and 35. Right, so I just wrote it out, okay? So, just looking at that, is this a function or not? Yes. Yes, it is, because the X's don't repeat. Oops. It is. Sorry, I'm struggling. It is a function. All right? Example B. Oh, real quick. Test you again. Where's domain again? On my X's, right? So what would be my domain of this of example of example A? Okay, so did everyone hear what she said? Okay, 10, 20, 30, 40, right? It's the list of X's. What would be my range? It's Y, but what would the numbers be? 15, 25, 35, 45, right? That's how you list them. Okay, moving on to example B. This one, one points to two, four points to five, four also points to negative five, two also point or two points to zero. Okay. Again, if I need to write them out, right, I'll write them out. So I have my first ordered pair be one, two. My second order pair, 4, 5, because 4 is pointing to 5. My next order pair, again, is 4, negative 5, so 4, negative 5. My 2 is pointing to my 0, so 2, 0. Okay? Function or not a function? Not a function, okay? So if you notice an order pair, it repeats, right? It's obvious. But on your mapping part, if a number from the X is pointing to two different Ys, okay? Right, so it's pointing to two different Ys, then that's how you know it repeats, okay? So good, not a function. All right, example C. domain, I have negative 2, I have 0, I have 1, I have 3, sorry, for my range, 
I have negative 3, 1, 3, and 4. Okay. Negative 2 is pointing at 1 and 3. 0 is pointing at negative 3. 1 is pointing at 4. 3 is pointing at 3. Okay. So again, okay, if you Personally, I probably would write them out so you don't get confused, okay? Again, though, once you see that uh, x is pointing at two different y's, okay, then it's not a function, right? But I'm just going to list them out just so you can see them, right? So negative 2, 1, negative 2, 3, 0, 3, 1 to 4, and 3 to 3. Okay, again, you look at your list, right? You see a negative 2 repeats. So this is not a function. Okay? Last one. Example D. So I have X. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. And I have y, negative 2, 0, and 5. Okay, 1 is pointing at 0, 2 is pointing at negative 2, 3 is pointing at 0 as well, 4 is pointing at is with 5. So do we think this is a function or not a function? No. Did someone say no? You don't think it's a function? Why? Okay, so remember, your y's can repeat, but your x's can't, right? So look at the difference between these two. Right, so this one, your x is pointing at two different y's, right? But on this one, you have two different x's pointing at the same y. Does that make sense? Okay, so you gotta make sure, you gotta be careful with that. Okay, so you gotta make sure that you know that it your well, like all of these x's can point at the same y, right? And it would still be a function. Okay, but if it like two is pointing at negative two and zero, it doesn't work. And just in case, we can write down the ordered pair. So it'll be one zero. It'll be two negative two. It'd be three, zero. It'd be four, five. Right. So now we can definitely see that none of my x's are repeating on here. Okay. So that means that it is a function. 